Okay, guys, we're in the shed. It's going to be a hot, steamy day today, I think. Now, this one looks okay, but there's too many bare spots and all that crap. No, I don't like bare spots. And my canvas is running down this way. So I'm going to lift him off if I can. Ah, put that underneath there. Check his level. He's level there. Is he level up there though? Yep, he is level. So I don't know why he's running off. Now we've got runoff from uh, our base coat. We have got Viridian. Which has now got a bit of silver in it by the looks of it. Oh, that's alright. Don't ask me how that happened. I'll just mix that in quickly. I was all ready to go. It's getting hot and humid. That's all right. This is Viridian from Reno Art. New colour. I don't think I've used this one. Yes, I'm a bit sick, so I'm going to do another ring pour, guys. I'm going to do another ring pour. I'm determined to put something on this canvas. Now, we're going to have to wipe out our cup. Wipe out our cup. <sighs> Wipe out our cup. We're going to go again on that canvas. I'm not happy with that. I don't want any silicone if I can. I'm wiping that out as well. So far, the Best one I've used this last couple of weeks has been Elmer's School Glue. It's the white PBA one of these. At all worst, we can get that here in Australia. Twenty two dollars. Twenty two dollars for nine hundred and forty six mils, which is not bad. That gave me about eight colours to play with, sixteen colours to mix up. So not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Now, going again on top of that. This one tissue. Best two paintings I got that month was with that. So I'm hoping to get something today with the almond with the PBA mix. And that is radical. Radical. That's that one. That's four litres. Is thirty some odd dollars. Maybe I just haven't got the mixture right. I don't know. We'll see. Right, red oxide. We've got a little bit of red oxide. I don't know what colour it is. This actually. <laughs> what colour is that, guys? Is it bronze? Could be a bronze. Could be bronze. Okay, we've got some bronze. I will put bronze in the bottom. This mystery colour goes in the bottom. Okay. Mystery colour in the bottom. He's been sitting, so we'll have all of that. I think that's bronze. I'm sure that's bronze. Now, I want my Viridian. And my next colour I'm going with, actually, is this made-up colour. It's got a bit of everything in that one. It's got a nice little bit of everything. So a good little layer of it. We're going for a ring pour again. We are going for a ring pour again. I've got, I call this sterling silver. He is, um, Byron. Get Byron off of catch. They're good quality paint here in Australia. I don't know if they're made here or not. I know Mont Mars supposed to be made here. Let's get some up my paint actually. Oh, there's copper, there's bronze. I don't know what colour that was, but that's bronze. Not much difference, nothing left in that one. Let's throw my rubbish out today. It is garbage day, so we've got light, we've got dark, light, dark, light so far. I'm going with this red oxide. They're all sitting on top, so that's good. Red oxide we're going for. 
Again, from the Viridian. That's right, you stick there, why don't you? If you want you doing that. Oh, it's a test piece. Okie dokie, that's Viridian. Okay, now a good healthy lot of that. And I'm going to go... Well, let's put a layer of yellow in here because we've got it here sitting ready to go. It's ready to go. Put a layer of yellow in. It's the same thickness now, so that's good. Good healthy yellow of that. And gold. Ah, I can never keep my gold gold. There's always got to be something else goes into it. Good healthy layer of gold on top. I want that in the centre. All of that. I'm going all of that. Keep your wooden utensils. They mix up well. Mm, do I want gold on top? No, I don't think I do want gold on top. I think I want silver now. In fact, with my silver. My silver will be the outer edges. That will be the outer edges, my silver. I have to get some more of that too. Now, what's that blue? Ah, I won't get that out. I won't get it. Is that enough? I will go back to this mixture. This strange little mixture. I think it's purple with a bit of gold in it. So that will be on our outer, outer edge. And we'll use up that today. Our base coat is going to be this one. Which is this mixture of runoff of silvers. This is the light silver. Now that will be our mixture for running off. Okay, we're ready. Aim, fire. I'm going to pour it all on. Use it all up. Use it all up today. It's a nice colour, actually. Okay, I'm just going to do that. I think I can get that on top there. Oh, he's in there permanently now. Okay, now. Hmm, that might be difficult. I should have taken it up off the ice stands. That's all right, that's all. Oh, come on, that's it, that's it. Now we're cooking. it all about. Yes, there's a lot of paint in there. I'll let it dry out this week because I don't think I'll be getting out any more this week. It's going to be a wet, wet week. Bring it down over to this corner. So far, like I said, the best one is the Alma School Glue win so far. Alma School Glue is the winner. Radical. Nothing so far. Oh, I'll just go around. Just go around the edges. I'll keep covered in a minute, I hope. We will get covered. I'm not worried about the edges. I've done two now, three now with the PVA glue. And they have not worked. The other two have. Why are you sitting on top of that painting? 
Oh, not for a minute. Now we're going to do a simple ring pull, guys. A simple ring pull. Okay, we're going to go out the funnel. We're going to start doing our rings. There's our dark silver. Wobbly, that's all right. Maybe the way I'm doing it. Let's slow down now. Slow down. Slow it down. It goes wobbly, it goes wobbly. There's not much you can do about it. Like it's layering it. Where's the other colours though? The gold always disappears. So far, I can only see three colours. We've got about six in. They've blended a bit. That's what it is, they've blended. Maybe an interesting piece, I don't know. Do we stretch him out a little bit? Oh, come on, don't grip over there. I don't want you over there. Come on. Behave. Do a whirlwind pen. There we go. Dismount. <laughs> okay, you're still going that bloody way. Why are you going that way when we're level? We're perfectly level, you're going that way. Don't get that. Okay, now. We're just going to take our time, stretch him out. The crickets are off and running today. I can hear them going chirping. It's our crickets. Ooh, it's pretty. You know about the centre part. Hmm. If I can stretch that out over there. Get rid of him a bit. Have that nice centre in the middle there. Tip him right on. Something in there always. Little knobby of paint. Yeah, hang on. Let's get that little knob out. Let's get that knob out there. Little plenty of paint on there. No, that's alright. Don't no worry. Till the end. Then we'll go and do a doodle and put the fan on. No. I'll go away, fly. We don't need you in here. We don't need flies. I just hope this painting doesn't... Um... What the heck is that in there? Right on the edge of the painting. Okay, we'll stretch you back down that way. I'll stretch you back down. And we're getting some cell activity. Oh, God, it's heavy. Come on. Oh, take that off down there. The red oxide's going to be the star of this show. Good old red oxide. He is definitely going to be the star of the show. I don't know where my gold's gone to. Oh, my silver. Oh, go over the edge. There's a good there's a good boy. You've got to talk to your paintings, guys. Oh, there we go. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. We'll give 
give him a torch in a minute. Hang on. Not a tissue here. No, so far so good. The winner is definitely the Elmer's school glue. over this corner a little bit now. Lift him up over that corner. He hasn't gone right over. He's still moving. Still changing and growing. Lift him off over there a bit. See what he does. Yeah, interesting. Okay, what is he going to do today? PVA glue, by the way, is stickier. Same with the old school glue. That's very sticky. Have a wet one on hand. Wipe your hands. We didn't take them all out of the box though. So. <sighs> well, he's got a lot of red oxide in it, that's for sure. A little bit of that funky blue or purple. Yeah, just wipe your hands before you touch your heat gun. Especially if you just bought it. And I can already see a bit of paint on there. I don't want paint on there. Don't mind the handle, I'm not near the button. Now, uh, let's put some heat on this puppy. so far. Now we'll go, we all know the golden rules. Don't we? Wipe our bum. Well, there's not much there today. It's a bit thicker. There's not too much there to take off. We'll mix up some new colours if we can next week. I won't do no more this week. It's been go this week, Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday and Wednesday has been go day, so that will be nicely. Here we go. Take that out to the rubbish bin. Oh, we'll see how that develops. Don't lean on it if it's level. I don't see no movement. We should have it pretty level. see what happens and what develops. Like I said, so far so good. The winner is Elmer School Glue. Elmer School Glue is the winner. That you can get at Woolworths here. Might be able to get bigger bottles elsewhere, I don't know. Now there's not much to look at. I can't go again because I've got no more paint, so I'm not going to bother. I'll let him dry, see how he dries on that other previous pour. I want to see how he dries on that too. That may be a problem with mine. They always seem to blister. They always seem to blister. I don't know why. He was fully dried. He was definitely fully dried. Don't know if I like yellow. Funky yellow, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, it could be tracing several times in the cup for the cup now. Oh, it's not Okay, we're done. That's it. I'm going in. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. Happy hands. Happy tangling. Have fun. Take over your husband's shower. Have fun. Do it on the kitchen table in a box. You'll be right. You just won't be able to sit at the kitchen table anymore, but you'll be right. <laughs> Okay, guys, please subscribe. I'm at 661 subscribers. Thank you for all for joining me in the last two years. It's been a busy last two years. Now yeah, we've got more craziness happening. Be safe. Bye.